All right, here we're Rich. Uh, start with James Ham. Hey, Rashawn, nice team win for you guys tonight. Uh, but Buddy Hield had had a big game, and how much does does your team need that from him? That that shooting stroke, but really the energy and everything else that he brought tonight. Uh, you know, Buddy's an important part of our team. You know, uh, when he gets it going like he had it going tonight, you know, we're very, very difficult to guard. And like you said, not only the shooting, but just his playmaking as well. You know, him on the de defensive end, him just bringing energy to our, to our team. You know, he, he does a lot for our team. So to see him get rolling like that and to come away with the win, it, it was great. Crystal Saltis. Hello, Rajon. Congratulations on the win. I would like to ask you, how enjoyable was uh, the tonight's game for you? Because we saw, the, we saw every player on the bench uh, smiled and uh, looks really fun on the game after, at uh, the last minutes. How enjoyable for you was and Do you believe it's a statement about your potential as a team? Uh, you know, it's always fun winning. You know, uh, you know I feel like the, the game's a little bit lighter. Conversation's a little bit lighter when you're winning games. And, uh, you know, it's always fun. It's funner to win. And um, hopefully we can take this momentum and just keep piling wins up, continue to have a good time with it. Sean Cunningham. You guys have been able to hold uh, opponents under 30 points for eight of the last nine quarters. I mean, I wonder how much of a building block that can be. How good that does that feel based on where you guys were at even last week? I have something to keep building on. You know, we, we understand how we have to guard. And uh, the things we need to do, we understand and we want to make it a point to go out there and play defense and especially setting the tone early and, you know, just try to make sure we make people uncomfortable as, as possible. So we want to do the best we can in that way and continue building, continue getting better defensively as a team. Marshall Harris. We're trying to talk about building blocks. Uh, I'm just curious. Uh, you got a couple of games coming up in a, in a couple of days. Uh, what, what's what's the biggest key in your mind to, to carrying this over back-to-back -back wins, even though they're separated by a few days, but just carrying over what you were able to do tonight into both those games over the weekend? Just staying mentally locked in, I believe. You know, uh, do our film work? You know, it was a good win tonight. Now we move on, get ready for the next game, do our film work and lock into the things we need to do defensively for that particular team and just go out there and try to carry it out. You know, just want to make sure that we stand locked in mentally and uh, doing what we need to do once we get out on the court. Jason Jones. Hey, Sean. Uh, one of the things Luke mentioned to us was in the pick and roll about Buddy making the right decision when their big man dropped, taking that open shot and making this, uh, when he was blitzed, finding you or the other big to make the pass so you guys could play make as well. Just in the what, season and a half now, I guess, of playing with Buddy, how far have you seen him come this year? in those decisions, whether it be pick and roll, how teams are defending him, to where he's able to have a game like that tonight? Uh, he's been great. He's been great. You know, knowing when to get off the ball and, like you said, letting somebody else make the play. You know, Buddy's been terrific as a playmaker for us, as well as just getting the ball moving. You know, he draws a lot of attention as a shooter. So him understanding to move the ball quickly and, you know, we can get others involved, get the, get the ball moving. It's hard to guard like that. It's hard to guard us when the ball is moving. And Buddy has done an outstanding job of moving the ball. Matt George. Hey, Rashawn. After the Blazers' loss, you talked a lot about this team needs to learn how to protect and sustain uh, big leads that you're able to build up tonight, leading from start to finish, pretty much sustaining that double-digit lead throughout, regardless of the opponent. Can you speak on seeing that and seeing the team able to accomplish that tonight and what it means going forward? It, yeah, it's just something we have to do. It's something we have to do. We have to You know, we jump out on teams, you know, get out to a good start. We want to maintain it. And tonight, I think, was an example showing that that's something we can do. And that's something we're going to have to do going forward, that when we get out to these good starts, being able to maintain for the whole 48. Jason Anderson. Hey, Rashawn, uh, can you talk a little bit about uh, playing with Marvin? What, what, that's, um, what it was like early <clears throat> in the season and how that's kind of progressed uh, up till now? Oh, yeah, most definitely. You know, we hadn't played a lot together coming in. So, you know, we was learning each other, kind of learning where our strengths are, where we need to be on the floor to help the team win. And I think now, you know, we're just gelling. You know, it's things that's happening. We understand where we're supposed to be, understand what the other guys going to be, you know, where to look for each other and things of that sort. So, you know, I just feel like we, we're much more on the string now. 
you know, we communicate more, especially on the defensive end. You know, we do a good job of communicating between ourselves on the bigs. And uh, he's just getting better and better every game. And with the talent he has, the sky's the limit for him. All right, we'll go back to Sean Cunningham. You know, because this was a, you know, wire to wire win and just the kind of the nature of it, I was curious to see if you thought this was one of your guys' most complete wins, if it felt the most consistent from start to finish for you guys. Definitely. I think it's a game where we were locked in for the full 48, you know, had some slip ups here. They went on runs. That's what NBA teams do. But I just feel like we were locked in from start to finish to come in here and get a win. And that's what we did.